Our Stephanie Stanovich talks to a couple tonight with family living in central New York that now lives in Alaska. Eric and Kristen Dossett live in Wasilla, Alaska. This is what their home looks like after the earthquake. They have ties to Central New York through Kristen's family, who live in Camillus and Canastota. And this is out here in Wasilla, where uh, the infrastructure seems to have held together. It must have been even more frightening in Anchorage. Eric was at work in Anchorage about an hour from their home when the shaking started. It got more violent very rapidly. Quickly, a group of us kind of went to a doorway, which was more safe. After thinking they'd be safe in the doorway, Eric and a few others felt uneasy and made a run for it outside to his car, hoping to get away from the building. It was still shaking, and then another you know, second aftershock came and a big chunk of the building fell right where I had ed exited the building, so that was really scary. Heading home from Anchorage to Wasilla, Eric says the roads were a mess. On that drive, it seems the shock of the quake gave way to the reality of the damage. The uh, main highway had a failed bridge, so we had to divert to an older bridge and then take the older highway out. Uh, and also on the inbound traffic, there's a giant sinkhole, so it doesn't look like I'll be going back to Anchorage anytime soon. The Dossett's home is still standing, although most everything fragile is broken. Still, the couple is thankful their family and neighbors are okay. Once I got to Wasilla, the, most of the damage at home here appears to be Everything is on the floor. The couple called their relatives in Camillus and Canastota right after the earthquake to report they were okay. Tonight, Eric told me the news of that phone call spread very quickly throughout the family. There was a lot of relief. Matt? Thank you, Stephanie.